In the beginning, God created everything. He created a world full of people to know Him and to be known by Him. This is the story of the Bible, God bringing people to Himself. And when we read the Bible, we see how God went to great lengths to do this, and how much God cares about people knowing Him. You most likely already know this. And you probably live somewhere where people have a general understanding of this great love story between God and humanity. And if they don't know yet, there's probably somebody in town who can tell them. But did you also know that there are three billion people who will live and die without ever hearing this story? Not because they don't care, but because they don't have a choice. Nobody ever told them that once upon a time, God became a human just like them, so that he could teach them how to know their creator. 40% of the world doesn't know this, and they won't know this. Not unless something changes. Not unless someone goes to tell them. Jesus is our wonderful example. He left his natural home to come to us, and then he tells us to do the same thing. Because we love Jesus and care about the same things that he cares about, we care about this. That the whole world would know him. That every tongue, tribe, and people group would come and be able to worship him. So the question is, are we doing this? Going out into the world to bring the gospel to every tongue, tribe, and nation? Well, kind of. While churches do send people out, almost half the world still doesn't have any access to the gospel. But how is this possible? Aren't there people being sent? Well, yeah. There are about 400,000 people serving across the world today. But only 3% of them are actually going to the 40% who have never heard about Jesus. The other 97%? They're going to places that have already heard about Jesus. There's an imbalance. That imbalance leaves only one person for each 250,000 people who have never heard about Jesus. Put another way, we have a spirit-led calling to rethink our focus. When you look at how we use our resources, such as money, the picture doesn't look that much better. To be specific, Christians around the world are giving about 2% of their income to Christian causes. And less than 7% of that is going to cross-cultural workers. And of that cross-cultural giving, only 1 one-hundredth of that 0.1% is actually going to those working with the 3 billion people who don't know Jesus, have no church, or any Christian neighbors. The other 99% of all cross-cultural giving goes to the rest of the world that already has Christians, Bibles, and churches. Are you seeing the imbalance? Only 3% of our workers with only 1% of our cross-cultural finances are going to the 3 billion people who have never heard about Jesus. So we have to ask ourselves, are we okay with this? We want those 3 billion people to hear about the kingdom of God and how much God loves them. There are 17,000 ethno-linguistic groups in the world. People who share language, culture, and common history. 7,000 of them are considered unreached people groups. These are entire cultures who have never heard the amazing story of how Jesus loves them and came to save them. God has called us to pay attention to this, to love and care for the same things that he does. He put this desire on our heart to see the unreached reached with the amazing story of the love of God. We want to see lasting local church planning movements begin among these people groups that brings renewal and transformation among these cultures and societies. Why? Because God has moved our hearts to see the gospel transform whole societies among the unreached. We know this task is bigger than us. Many of the areas that are in need of the gospel are difficult and resistant places. It isn't something that can be accomplished overnight, but by the power of the Spirit, we endeavor to preach the gospel where Christ is not known so that God can be worshiped by all people.